The Boeing 777X is set to enter commercial service next year. That means the Airbus A350-1000 faces a major challenge it will officially have to go head-to-head -head with a powerful rival. But Airbus isn't in a hurry to worry as the company's CEO Guillaume Fauri has revealed a shocking plan for a new aircraft, a stretched version of the A350-1000 that promises to surpass the 777X and potentially dominate this entire market segment. But why is this new Airbus aircraft such a big threat to the 777X in Boeing? What can we expect from this extended version? Let's find out. The Airbus A350 since entering commercial service in 2015 has rapidly cemented its position as one of the world's most favored twin-engine widebodies. With nearly 700 airframes delivered and over 1-400 orders from 62 global customers, the A350 has not only solidified Airbus's standing, but has also been a cornerstone in establishing the European manufacturer as a titan of the industry. Upon its debut, the A350 XWB Extra Wide Body set a new standard for cabin space and operational efficiency, securing its title as this maker's widest twin jet. However, the A350's newest and widest status is under threat. Airbus's main rival Boeing has developed a formidable competitor, the Boeing 777X, slated for delivery starting in early 2027. Boeing's next-generation widebody is designed with an even greater fuselage width than the A350, promising operators unparalleled cabin space and directly challenging the European maker's dominance in the large long-haul segment. Recognizing this looming threat, Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauri publicly revealed an ambitious development concept, stretching the current XWB family to create the A350-2000 variant. According to Fari, this is more than just an upgrade, it is probably a natural evolution of the product line, designed to compete directly with the 777X. The thinking behind the version 2000 is to replicate the successful strategy Boeing employed with its 777 family, which evolved over time from the 777-200 to the 300 larger freighter versions, and finally, the much longer 777X. The European maker is now seriously studying this new iteration, which is projected to seat up to 450 passengers a capacity, even surpassing the 777X setting the stage for a head-to-head -head confrontation in the ultra-large widebody segment. In an exchange with Aviation Week, when questioned about plans to counter the new Boeing 777-9, the largest passenger jet soon to enter service despite suffering years of delays. Fauri confirmed that version 2000 is not merely an extended version of the already successful version 1000, but a direct counterpunch to the Boeing 777X. This is a bold move aimed at reclaiming market dominance and represents this maker's strategic answer to the growing global demand for highly fuel-efficient, long-range, high-capacity aircraft. Moreover, this development comes as the industry has decisively shifted away from giant four-engine jets like the A380 and 747 in favor of fuel-efficient twin jets. The official termination of the A380 program leaves the A350 as one of the few modern long-haul widebody programs still in production for Airbus. Consequently, the introduction of version 2000 is not just a compelling idea. It is a necessary requirement to service high-density trunk routes, demanding maximum capacity. Although many analysts had prematurely declared the death of the very large aircraft market key airline executives, still believe that major global routes necessitate jets capable of moving maximum passenger and cargo payloads. Notably, the 777X program has been a grave wake-up call for Airbus. Back in 2018, when the A350-1000 was launched, the European maker executives confidently dismissed the 777-9 as an odd hybrid of old and new technology a design they argued could never truly compete with their aircraft. However, reality has forced a painful reassessment. To date, the XWB-1000 has garnered only about 327 firm orders, while the uncertified and heavily delayed Boeing-9 has secured approximately 383 orders. This is a serious threat, especially to an aircraft like the XWB, which has already proven its safety and efficiency record over a significant period of operation. For these reasons, the launch of a larger aircraft like the A350-2000 is not just a timely opportunity, it is a critical strategic maneuver in a high-stakes market battle. Until further official announcements, it stands as the largest wide-body Airbus has ever committed to build a bold new symbol of the company's relentless ambition to lead the future of long-haul travel. So what will the aircraft which the CEO revealed as something a bit longer, bigger, and more capable actually look like? The proposed A350-2000 variant is positioned not merely as a simple stretch, but as a major redesign effort aimed at re-establishing market leadership in the ultra-large, long-haul, wide-body segment. 
First and foremost, the most prominent and immediately obvious feature of the variant will undoubtedly be its absolute size. While the current flagship version 1000 boasts a maximum capacity of 369 passengers, nevertheless its potential successor is poised for a significant capacity increase. By extending the fuselage by approximately 6 meters, consequently, this new variant could accommodate an additional 50 seats raising the total capacity to an estimated 450 passengers. This massive increase will place it in direct competition with the Boeing 777X and more critically will transform it into potentially the longest passenger aircraft ever built, surpassing even the 777X's length. This capacity leap is not just a minor technical adjustment, it is a redefinition of passenger and cargo transport capability in a long-haul twin-engine jet. The statement by the Airbus CEO, the new A350 variant will provide even greater range and greater capacity, which is increasingly important in an ever more crowded air traffic market, simultaneously underscores that this jet is a bold strategic move to capture a larger share of long-haul routes. Next to handle the dramatically stretched fuselage and the corresponding increase in payload, this extended variant is projected to undergo extensive aerodynamic and structural enhancements. A crucial technical area of focus will be the wing design. With the elongated fuselage and added mass, a larger wing is almost mandatory to improve lift and fuel efficiency. However, this is where Airbus faces the most severe challenge regarding airport accessibility. The current A350-1000 wing has a 64.75 meter span, allowing it to fit within the ICAO code E-gate limits. Any substantial wing expansion would push the aircraft into the far more restrictive Code F category, thereby severely limiting its operational capability at many major global aviation hubs. It is precisely for this reason that Boeing opted for the folding wingtip design on the 777X. If Boeing's rival intends to produce the stretch version, it may be compelled to adopt a similar folding wingtip design, or at the very least undertake a comprehensive redesign of the wing engines and horizontal stabilizers. On the other hand, Airbus will inevitably increase the aircraft's maximum takeoff weight. This added weight will require reinforced landing gear and localized airframe stiffening. Be that as it may, these modifications are well within the capability of the existing XWB design and can likely be implemented with minimal disruption. Furthermore, to comply with safety regulations associated with the increased passenger count, the jet will almost certainly need an additional Type C emergency exit, a critical design feature to ensure rapid emergency evacuation, which is mandatory for high capacity aircraft. Moreover, the propulsion system is arguably the most exciting element of the A350 2000. Under the wings, this colossal variant will demand more powerful engines to accommodate the increased size and weight. Currently, the 1000 variant is powered by the Rolls Royce Trent XWB 97. Regarding the stretched variant, Airbus has two strategic options. One is to further optimize the proven XWB engine, attempting to push its performance envelope. The second is to take a major technological leap by equipping the aircraft with Rolls-Royce's next-generation Ultrafan engine. Regardless of the choice, the engine must provide superior thrust and fuel efficiency to enable the aircraft to not only carry more passengers, but also fly further than ever before. Greater power equates to extended range, allowing the A350-2000 to perform non-stop flights on some of the world's longest and most challenging routes. All of these factors deliver a strategic advantage to airlines, helping reduce stopovers and achieve higher overall efficiency. Ultimately, if the maker can focus its development efforts primarily on the fuselage extension without triggering extensive changes to the wing architecture or propulsion systems, the certification path could be relatively smooth. However, whether it can succeed depends on many factors, especially the following. The development of the hypothesized A350-2000 variant, while strategically compelling for Airbus, faces significant near-term obstacles and depends heavily on long-term market shifts. Firstly, the most immediate challenge is a lack of pressing market momentum for a completely new product offering right now. Demand for existing Airbus aircraft is currently soaring across the board. Furthermore, the vast majority of airlines worldwide already consider the A350-1000 to be perfectly adequate in terms of capacity for their high-density routes. Even when the competing Boeing 777-9 finally enters commercial service despite its numerous delays, aviation analysts do not anticipate an immediate rush by global carriers to place large additional orders for a jet in this niche ultra-large category. Secondly, while stretching an existing airframe might be structurally easier than engineering a jet from scratch, it introduces specific technical hurdles. 
The fundamental challenge for version 2000 will be maintaining the aircraft's legendary range and efficiency, despite the inevitable increase in weight and drag from the extended fuselage. The sheer act of stretching the plane will increase its size, thereby demanding more fuel for the same mission profile. For this reason, the maker would need to implement further incremental aerodynamic and engine enhancements across the existing A350 platform. These improvements would be necessary to ensure the new longer variant can be produced without compromising the crucial long-haul performance that the XWB family is known for. However, the underlying strategic rationale for developing the stretch version remains strong. The A350 family is still a relatively modern piece of aerospace technology. Developing and extending this product line is therefore a logical and appropriate evolutionary step. Crucially, this approach is fundamentally different from the path taken by Boeing with the highly troubled 737 where the company essentially attempted to update and integrate new technology onto an airframe design that was already decades old. Airbus, by contrast, is leveraging a current generation platform. In summary, Airbus's intention to stretch its flagship A350 family to directly compete with Boeing's new 777X is clear. Although a specific timeline for this new version has yet to be officially announced, Industry observers widely anticipate that within the next few years, a variant longer than version 1000, capable of carrying several dozen extra passengers, will begin to take shape. While the current market demand doesn't scream for immediate delivery, the strategic imperative to counter the 777X and establish the A350 as the ultimate large twin jet is a powerful motivator for the European manufacturer. The project's success will ultimately depend on the EZ's ability to solve the core engineering challenge of increasing capacity without sacrificing the range and fuel efficiency that defines